Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to disable OneDrive on your Windows 10 computer and how to stop that annoying pop-up. So in this tutorial I'll not only show you how to turn it off from booting when your computer turns on, but how to actually uninstall the app altogether. So it's going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by heading down to our system tray down the bottom right corner of our screen and there should be an upward facing arrow where if you hover over it, it should say show hidden icons. I'm going to left click on that and now there should be an icon with a little cloud and when you hover over it it should say OneDrive. You want to right click on it and then left click on the settings button right here. Underneath Microsoft OneDrive you want to click on the settings tab on the left side and then underneath general where it says start OneDrive automatically when I sign into Windows. You want to uncheck that and then click on OK. And now I'd recommend restarting your computer. Now if you wanted to completely remove OneDrive from your system as well, I'd recommend going over to your start menu. And you either want to type in settings or click on the little gear icon on the left side here and if you hover over it it should say settings. You want to left click on that. And now depending on what version of Windows 10 you're running there might be a tab or a tile that says apps. In my case, it's going to be under System because I don't have an Apps tile here. So I'm going to just click on System here. And now on the left side, there should be something that says Apps and Features. You want to left click on that one time. And now underneath Search this list, you want to type in 1. And the best match that comes up should say, in most cases, Microsoft OneDrive. You want to left click on that one time. And then left click on this Uninstall button. It'll say this apps and its related info will be uninstalled. Select uninstall and I recommend restarting your computer after you've uninstalled this application and you can always reinstall it through the Windows Store at a later date if you had a change of heart but I just wanted to go through this option as well if you wanted to get rid of it from your computer. So pretty straightforward guys. I do hope I was able to help you out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.